Hey guys, okay, so I wanted to just talk about quality. Um, so a little bit of the science behind the quality and the testing. So doTERRA do six rounds, six or seven rounds of third party testing to make sure that their oils are actually quality. Um, and that means that when, and also it's also reflected in price. Like for example, frankincense being a tree in the middle of the desert. Say hello. Um, versus lavender, which is going to be, you know, in abundance in Europe. So obviously lavender therefore would be a lot cheaper than frankincense being harder to source um, because it's grown when it, where it's naturally grown. Something else they do is source from naturally grown spaces. Um, it's obviously harder to come by. So talking about additives to, and I, I mean additives in the way of not like, not just man-made substances, but I mean, how can they, how can other companies bulk up a pure essential oil? So with the laws around essential oils, it only needs to be 2% of a pure essential oil to be labeled a pure essential oil. So a lot of people out there are using oils that aren't necessarily top quality. And that's where these guys really want to challenge the market. And that's why they have become number one in the marketplace so quickly. So there's a few couple of there's a couple of different ways that this can be done by um firstly it could be like by skilled chemists that are able to produce um an adulted oil very which has a very similar consistency as a pure oil um don't step on that um which is not picked up when it's put through the testing because of the chemical components within the oil that they're able to create that is so similar. So um, that's obviously something that if you're just doing a basic test, it's not going to be picked up and it gets passed and it's all fine. So that's why these guys have such intense testing because they want to be able to say ours are the best. Um, another one is blending one of one essential oil with another, of which is a simil similar plant or something. Um, so you might have a, something that's a super high quality oil and it's blended with something that is like a lower quality oil. So when we look at like cinnamon bark and things like that, it's quite often blended with a, like a cassia or something or other. So they end up using something that's a very similar chemical species, um, like chemical molecular biology it looks the same on the test, but it's actually, um, quite different when it comes to quality and how they actually work within our bodies. Um, obviously, one which is a synthetic, hey, thank you, synthetic okay. chemical addition. So, um, adding like a cheap petrochemical derived synthetic component to the oil. So, this is when you have to look at things that are in a lot of perfumes and um, chemical products that we buy, particularly cosmetics and things like that. So, that's when it gets a little bit scary. Um, something that is very common as well. So it won't be picked up on a lot of like GC or um, what they call MS, like analysis tests. Um, it's only until you do look at it properly that you realise that the chemical ratios have changed. So this is a little bit like sciencey talk and it's a bit hard to sort of understand quickly. Um, I think it's good to just know where your products are coming from, not just with essential oils, but for all things that you bring into your home and understand where they're originally sourced from. Some scary things get passed by government all over the world to put into our um, our cosmetics, particularly uh, the things that we use for cleaning in the home. It's just a scary space and I feel like we need to be able to take this into our own hands and control what we put on our skin, as particularly being our greatest organ. So. I hope that gives you a little bit more of an idea. I do have a lot more information, including some um, research articles and everything, if you'd like to know a little bit more. But um, that's sort of in a bit of a nutshell. This will probably be one of our longest videos because it's a little bit hard to sort of explain it properly. But thanks, guys.